hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back um i hope you're all doing well staying safe and everything i hope no one's feeling sick and yeah no one's under the weather because this corona malarkey is not the one but yeah so today i just thought let me do a quick video um just basically talking about what i like doing like what i basically do in my spare time um how i went about it and yeah so as you all may already know from when i like from basically when i put my like instagram in my um in my youtube videos like at the end like you know when i've put my everything but yeah when i put my instagram for my hair page in my you know channel i'm tired today i thought <laughs> I feel like oh, I wanted to do this video, but I'm tired. It's like my words are just all over the place. Anywho, nonetheless, um, yeah. So basically, I just wanted to let you guys know how I started off and what it is that I like doing. So I'm a mobile hairstylist. So like I do it in my house sometimes, and I go to people. So obviously I travel. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I go so many places that like, I go far. I'm not gonna lie. Because it's like people that live mad far will like book me and like because I drive it's like it makes sense that I might as well just do the distance and travel. But it's just mad because before when I never used to drive I would actually like proper travel. Like I was so what? I was so dedicated like literally. But um yeah, so let me just start off. So guys, um hairdressing for me is something that I love, like it gets tiring, but it's something that I love doing. I've been doing it for so many years. It's just like, you know when that is just something that I'm good at? Like, that is, do you know what I mean? That is one of my hobbies, including shopping. But yeah, hairdressing is my hobby. Like, I cannot name to you any person or any hair salon that has touched my, like... Right. I mean, I can, but I mean, once. Like, my, I've gone to the hairdressers three times in my whole life like it's not a joke no one don't touch my hair like even if i couldn't do it myself i swear to you i would literally try and make ends meet i don't know i'm just bare picky like i'm not going to the hair oh you guys just saw my nails <laughs> anywho um i'm not going to the hair salon and i remember one time when i actually did go i just went for a side party and i couldn't be bothered to do it myself may that side parting was the worst was the worst Prior to that, I was in the salon for hours on end. Like, nah. But yeah. Um, so I just want to give you like my journey as to how like I started off like with hair. So I was young. In all my books, I used to write, Oh, I want to be a hairdresser, I wanna do I wanna own a shop, this, this, that. God willingly I do. God willingly I do, yeah. Um, but yeah, I always said I wanna be a hairdresser. I think in one of my books, you know like when you're young, you write these things down um i think i said a dancer and singer i used to do dancing i think i said this before but the hairdresser one stuck with me like that one day it's gone far in it so yeah when i was young and i mean like really young um let me think probably like 10 not even 10 i into you because that's how old my little sister is um seven eight i was learning on my dolly's hair like i was learning plaits came rose plaits i was doing the most like doing the most i was dying to be a hairdresser like literally dying to be and then i used to do all my friends hair like european hair everything afro hair i was trying on both at the time european hair for me at the time was so hard to came rose. then over the uh, over time it was like yeah i've conquered it i've conquered it but um yeah then in secondary school um i started doing my own hair um I was helping my mum do weave. Um, I was, like, doing weave for other people. But it was, like, not on a daily, but just here and there, mate. <laughs> Obviously, you know when you practice and practice and practice and practice? Then I done it on myself. That's it. I went clear. I went clear. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've mastered it. Because when you sew in, you know what? Everyone can sew in. No, not everyone can sew in. But hairdressers can sew in. That's fine. Yeah. But when you sew in, you got to know what you're doing when you're sewing in the hair. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Because some people they'll sew it in for you. When you go home, you're brushing it and like obviously they haven't do you know what I mean? Like they haven't knotted it at the end. So you're brushing your hair and that's a track there hanging. 
when your hair's loose, all right, cool, that's kind of understandable. But when you've got a bad job done, it's not the one. And I've done so many people's hair that I've come to and be like, oh my gosh, I went to this person's and when that, when like, I brushed it and I got home, it came out. Da -da -da -da. And I'm just thinking like, how? But that's what I'm saying. You've got to master it properly because it's all good sewing it in, but you've got to knot it and know what you're doing. You can't, it, Like when you're pulling on it, you can't, it can't be pulling out like... It's not clippings. It's not clippings. So regard, it shouldn't be um, coming out in any sort of way. Like it's sewed onto the cane row. It should not be coming out. But yeah. Um, so I was doing all my friends' hair. Then guys, I remember at the time my mum got me a um, a part time job. I was like fifth. No, let me not. Lie. Actually, I'm lying. I was like fifteen. I got me a part time job <laughs> on a weekend in. Um, it was like Saturday and Sunday, but they didn't always want me like every Saturday. No, wait. It was one of the days that were busy, but both of their days were busy. But I'm just trying to think which one I'm mostly done. So some weekends it was like Saturday, some weekends it was Sunday. But yeah, I used to go there. I would help them do braids. Um, You know, like when you're doing like box braids and like garner braids and stuff. I would help them prepare the hair. So get it ready, you know, put it over there, thread the needle. And then like over time, they let, they let me start, like they let me... They started letting me do cane rows on people. Um, I was doing like washing and all these stuff. So I was like proper getting experience in the salon. Obviously I was young, so I was like, yeah, like I was feeling like a big girl. Um, and then after that, I went on to like working in an actual salon, like I think maybe when I was like 17. So like I went from a few salons because obviously some of them at the time, because I was young, like the first one that I went to, it was only like Saturday and Sunday then. Then they said that... Um, they just want me to come in on Sundays and it wasn't like for it was only for like three, four hours. Like obviously it was better than nothing, still getting experience, but I was like, nah, I wanna find somewhere else because I loved it, but like I wanted to do more days than that. Like, do you know what I mean? Like I wanted to do like a full day on Saturday and Sunday. But um yeah, so I was doing that. Then I actually went into the salon. Woo, that was when I was like, Yeah, I like it here. But guys, something about the salon and me just wasn't adding up because I don't like being told what to do, especially when I know what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? So, obviously, when I was there, it was like, oh, Tashan, can you do this? Oh, this came out. But, like, really and truly, I know what I'm doing. Like, some of them that are actually proper stylish, yeah? Like, I'm all looking at them and I'm thinking, like, yeah, you done a hair shambolic. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, those braids were a bit mad. Yeah, that sewing was a shambles. Do you know what I mean? But I'm thinking it all in my head because I can't say these things out loud. Um... But yeah, so over time I was like, you know what, like, yeah, the salon staff have gained experience, I know what's expected, everything, um, whatever whatever experience that I've, like, do you know what I mean, got from them, I'm going to bring that into my own little business, I'm going to, do you know what I mean, go ahead, create an Instagram, and promote myself. and then you know get and that's what i done and i honestly think it's the best thing ever like it's actually the best thing ever to do um yeah like but for time yeah people used to say it to me and i'm like no like i'm not no like no i'm sorry guys i'm like no like i don't really want to da, 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 da. but then it's because i was like oh i don't know do you know what i mean and then, guys, I went on to doing braids. I worked in Selfridges, um, doing braids in there. I don't know if you guys know about when they had the braid bar in Selfridges. So it was on ground floor, the beauty floor. Um, and it was like, there was leaflets, doing braids. I even done it in Topshop as well. Um, this is how much I love doing hair. Like, literally, I'm doing it in shops like Selfridges and Topshop. And these are like big shops where, you know what I mean? I could just be doing retail. But, um, yeah, that's literally how much I loved it. Um, so, yeah, the braids that i done in Topshop. Well, I don't... I think I liked Topshop's braid bar better than Selfridges, kind of. But, yeah, but at the time, I left Topshop to go to the Selfridges one because I was like, yeah, Selfridges. Um, so, i done braids in there. I'm just deep in it. <laughs> i done braids in Selfridges. Um, done it for however long. Um, I loved it, obviously, gained experience i was doing on so much european hair so do the more braids i've done on their hair the more easy it was for me to do it afterwards like when i was doing it myself like um so yeah 
that's weird though because I just remembered that when I left that braid bar, I went back to work in Selfridges again. But anyway, um, so yeah, I was obviously doing up braids and the uh, braid bar. Um, I had like some pictures that basically we had an Instagram, so we would put it on Instagram and then we'd get customers like that. Then I had people that like were messaging me out of work, so like, oh, can you come over and do braids for me and my kids? My kids. Did like, do you know what I mean? Want want their hair done for next week? This that I want their hair done for this time. Like it was, I it was back to back. Like I would be at Selfridges doing braids. Like I would literally be on my days off doing braids. Like I was just doing braids twenty fours. Like literally, even my sewings at the time, like they all calmed down a bit because of obviously all the the customers from the braid bar. They all wanted to, do you know what I mean? Like wanting to book me out of work and stuff like let their friends know like it, it was a lot like i was doing things guys i was doing things and then i was like okay cool braids i was like you know what i'm doing hair too much and i'm not gonna lie i started to get the thought and i was like no nah, i don't like hair that much like it's too much to hold my mom i was like mom i'm standing up all day i'm tired my feet are gone did this, this that like i'm it's just back to back yeah but it's something you love it's something i loved but it was just tiring and then I was like, you know what, I want to go for a change. Not as in for hair. I will always do hair. Like, it will always be something I'm doing, like, on the side. It's not going to be a main thing, but it's always going to be something I'm doing on the side. And that's what I've been doing. So after the braid bar, I was like, now nah, I want to go, like, I want to go elsewhere sort of thing, yeah. So I did that, but I still obviously had my Instagram and was still doing up my clients um, on the days that I had availability. And that was that. So yeah, then now guys, I've got my Instagram. Um I've got like 2000 followers. So it's decent, isn't it? Like it's decent. Like obviously one day I should, you know, I mean, it should increase by thousands and gone clear again. <laughs> but yeah, but for now 2000 that's calm. I just work with that. Um but yeah, I get some really lovely customers, I'm not going to lie. And it's so nice when people message you and it's like they compliment your work like it's it makes you feel so good like guys I, I know if some of you've got businesses and like you get a message like hi da, 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 i'm interested in like your lashes for example or your nails and they compliment it like it, it actually like makes you feel happy do you know what i mean like because obviously you can put it up and think like yeah this is decent enough to go up and okay cool you'll get some likes but obviously when you're getting people that don't obviously know you or don't follow your account or whatever and they just like come across you and like say oh it's your hair like i had people message me and they've literally sorry i didn't apply some lip gloss um they've literally said like hi i'm just messaging you because your like your hairstyles are amazing da, 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 da. like just like lovely messages like that and i'm like yeah she's a babe she's a babe she's nice you know what i mean but um yeah no, listen, doing hair is a skill, like, it's a skill, it's actually a skill, and if you can do hair, if you think you can do hair, yeah, and to your standards, it's fine, listen, keep trying, practice makes perfect, that's what I was doing for time, practicing, practicing, on my little doll head, practicing, practicing, like, I was practicing back to back, literally, and then over time, that was it, I was like, yeah, that's it, well, well done, well done done hmm. so yeah that's what i wanted to share you with you <laughs> share with you guys today just my love for hair but um if you don't have me on instagram it's at my kind of beauts underscore on she's in the video towards the end um so you'll see it um i've got a website as well but the website is just like how do i explain it the website has pictures and obviously information but if you've already got my instagram then you wouldn't really need to like i don't know message me through my website or anything like you can just literally message me on instagram or um like email me or anything but yeah so for you guys that don't know um i specialize in doing like weaves so all types of weaves so like european hair afro hair um yeah like any sort of weave that you'd want done wigs as well but with wigs um obviously i don't supply the hair at the moment but i've got a vendor so i'm working with them to get like bundles and units so like closures frontals bundles so different like inches so like you know what i mean body wave um stray 
Do you know what I mean? Like, all, all kinky, like, all types, all types of hair. So, like, soon after all of this, I shall be getting my hair. And then, obviously, I'll put it up and, yeah, put it in some of my YouTube videos if I can. Um, but, yeah, I think to start off with, though, I will be getting units. So, that will be of, like, frontals, um, closures and them sort of stuff. 360 frontals, all of that. But, um, yeah, so if you guys don't have me on Instagram or, like, interested in doing your hair or whatever, at my kind of beauts, yeah, at my kind of beauts. Um, and, yeah, obviously, at the moment, I'm not taking any bookings, so that's that. Like, I'm not risking it for a biscuit, literally. I'm not doing it. Um, scared, prang, not on it. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, just thought I'd plug myself. Also, just to add... Um, I'm going to be getting some lashes, so I'm going to be, they're going to be called MKB lashes, My Kind of Buttes lashes, so just strip lashes, um, I've got some on right now, yeah, I've got some on right now, but I'm still in the process of getting them, so for you guys that are interested in lashes or whatever, they're going to be going for a good price, literally, um, and yeah, so wait, wait for that. Um, in one of my videos as well, I've mentioned the gel that I use called Panto. And again, um, I'm going to be getting, like, a bit of stock in Panto. Well, of Panto. Of Panto? Yeah. So, um, I'll be selling it. And for you guys that obviously always ask me about my hair. <laughs> and, you know, like, what I use to slick it and stuff. It's Panto, the best edge control ever. No olive oil, no these other little stiff ones from the hair shop. They're not cutting it anymore, and you guys know it. Panto, listen, when you have Panto, it's all over. I'm not going to lie, it's all over. But, um, yeah, so that's basically, that's that's what's going on. That's the latest. But, yeah, if you keep up with, um, if you've got me, of like, either on Instagram or even if, like, my website or whatever, if you keep a lookout on things, you I would, like, you'll get the updates, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, I'll be posting on my story once I get everything. And yeah, um, to start off with, I might do a little promotion. So, if girls, obviously, keep out, keep a lookout for that because the promotions, proper stuff, love, proper things. Whew. So, yeah, I feel like I never, like, <laughs> anyway, but yeah, guys, so that's what's going on. Um, I think I've done enough now chatting about myself, my kind of beauts. Um, so it's like my kind of beauty, touch by Tash. It's just a bit of both, but my kind of beauty. Because obviously I made it years ago. And then I've got my logo. My logo, like, says my kind of beauty. Then it says touch by Tash. So, like, I don't really want to change the my kind of beauty because my website's called my kind of beauty as well. So, yeah. Because someone asked that, why, why is the name that? Like, <laughs> it's just that, innit? <laughs> Can't say I really know right now. But, yeah, guys. Um... As I mentioned before, I hope you're all staying safe and continue to stay safe. Um, make sure you're, make sure you're, you know, you're you're, do, you're doing the right stuff. <laughs> I know this social distance and stuff is just getting out of hand, but it's got to be done. Got to be done. But yeah, guys, um, thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, everything, please um i'll be back soon with another video i just thought i'd do this quick one just about like just dedicating dedicated to my hair basically um and yeah again if you guys want to follow me feel free to i'll follow you back i'll see you very soon bye guys